Good morning, guys. It's Lori from Passionate Penny Pincher, and y'all know that if you are doing the 2022 Home Planner Challenge with me this week, and actually we'll probably be doing it for most of the month, each week you have one big project to do, and this week's big project is to organize the pantry. I'm going to show y'all my pantry. I'm a little anxious about sharing it with you. I will just say right up front, y'all know we just moved to a new home. My husband's job offered him the option to transfer. It was to a place that we're excited about being at. And so we left a home that we absolutely loved for this one. And I am just going to say, first of all, because I really i am very hesitant about sharing this with y'all. Um, this is 25 years of penny pinching and a lot of hard work. However, lots of people will pinch their pennies and work just as hard as we did for 25 years and may never have this pantry. I almost don't want to show it to you. However, I will tell you that I run, y'all know, I run a business that employs uh, about 15 women. Um, and so this was like when we saw this house and this pantry, I actually didn't think the house had a pantry when we walked through it. And then I saw this pantry and I was like, it was almost like, God handed me the pantry I needed for my business and for our home and really for my business so much. So it was a huge gift. So I'm just gonna show y'all the pantry. Do not have pantry envy, y'all. We have had lots lesser pantries than this. This one literally just sold me kind of on the house. So I'm gonna show it to y'all, are you ready? Okay, so actually, well, yeah, and then I'm gonna show you some of my favorite organizers. Um, here we go. Oh, good morning, Bridget. I'm glad you're working out while watching me. So I'm gonna scoot you back so you can kind of see. Okay, so in the corner of this kitchen, are these cupboards and I literally so there's a little microwave over there your stove is over there it is a big kitchen I am it's probably about it's a little bit bigger than my last kitchen cabinet wise it's cabinet wise it's bigger space wise it's not bigger but it has a lot more cabinetry we had a lot more open stuff however y'all you have got to know that for the last eight years as I've been doing Facebook live I have walked up and down my steps to get to all of my crock pots because all of my crock pots didn't have room for storage upstairs so this pantry has room for everything and it's a walk-in pantry and it's kind of hidden it's kind of crazy are y'all ready to come see it um here we go so when you walk in i'll show you my favorite organizers as well inside of it i haven't done a whole lot to organize it it was obviously we just moved in so it's pretty new um when you walk in i may have to turn the video around so you can see and once we get inside here it just keeps going and going and going. I've seen a lot of beautiful Pinterested pantries like this. I am probably not gonna do that because this is a true working pantry where we actually like live in it. So the idea of having the perfect Pinterest pantry to me doesn't really make sense. I'm gonna turn the video around so you can see this a little bit better. Um, okay, so let me clean off my screen because it's probably pretty dirty, sorry guys. Um, this is what it looks like. And you can see one of our water bottles is stuck out there. It was mostly organized. So when you walk in this way, you walk back and there's so much space. It is like, I, and I know, I just don't want to, y'all, I don't want to share this with you guys because I don't want anyone to be like, this is not normal. This is not a normal pantry. No, most people do not have a pantry like this. All of my crock pots though, you guys, you can't even know because I do what I do every day to do Crocktober and everything else and have to run up and down the stairs every time I had to get a different crock pot. This honestly was like this house just was like God handed it to us and just said, here's the easy button, guys. We're going to make your life a little bit easier. So y'all know I have all my crock pots right here. Um, before they were on two floors in different cabinets hidden on every place. So to have everything right here is just such a sweet gift. My cookbooks are here. Um, I've got some glass storage up there. I actually probably have some extra storage space up there that's kind of like hidden. I'm able to keep, you guys know I use these bins for Facebook Live each day. So when I'm prepping for work, I have to prep all of my supplies differently than you prep in a normal kitchen. So I put all of my groceries all of my stuff each week and I have room actually like this week when we were doing the locale challenge rather than on Friday Sunday night I just went ahead and prepped all of my meals this is not normal can we just say that this is not normal um, what are the dimensions of the space I'll try to walk it off let me show you a couple of my favorite things that we have in here um, these are some just plastic containers for our baking I love these little cereal guys. I, they make me really happy. They don't make my husband happy. They make me happy for Christmas. Someone gave my husband Lucky Charms, which makes my kids really happy. Um, I absolutely love this stacking orange organizer container. It's, can you, I don't know if you can see it. There we go. 
It's like three stacks and it's probably my favorite storage for cans. Um, it actually expands. So you can see right there is there's where it expands. I really, really, really like that. I love these tall things for pasta and spaghetti, things like that. I do try to organize my food and most of these organizing containers I had in my last, last pantry. They were just all stuffed so tight. Now we have a little more space. Um, I have a place, normally onions go here, but right now bread is going here. Yeah. Anyways, uh, peanut butter. We always have peanut butter breakfast stuff. I probably need to organize these a little bit better. Like I said, we just moved in all of our drink mixes. I keep all of our oils and seasonings in one. We've got snacks way back in that back corner are like cooking, like uh, salad stuff, baking supplies, snacks here, lunch stuff here, sock pile stuff here, which has turned into snack stuff. I try to keep my baking supplies and stuff. I've got my puppy dog treats. I love a Lazy Susan, y'all, like nobody's business. So this is our Lazy Susans. I've got a couple more Lazy Susans. These are for our vitamins. Um, these are supposed to be for liquids, but we ended up, right now it's just in here because I really didn't need it the way that it's set up. This, These shelves are, very, are not very deep, so they're probably only about 12, maybe, I'd say those are probably 10 inches. These are a little bit deeper. My other pantry had deeper shelves, so I'm kind of like finagling how to make everything work. Um, so it's not perfect yet. The biggest thing that I'm excited about is this right here. What I've been able to do is just keep these baskets along here throughout the week. Um, what containers do I have my pastas in? These are just plastic containers I got over at Home Goods, and I'm gonna just answer any questions um, that y'all have about my pantry. Um, I know, oh, I love this little guy. I just love the Lazy Susans. There is a lot to be said for a Lazy Susan. I did want to show you really fast too. Let me step back out here so you can kind of see. Um, that's what it looks like when you're coming out. So it is just, it is a big pantry. It's crazy. Let me see what your question was. You needed this big pantry. It is a godsend for us for sure. Thank you so much for saying that, Vale. The number of times I can't tell you as a business owner that I have had to, like I start on the computer in the morning, I run downstairs to do, I run upstairs to get my stuff, myself ready. I run downstairs, I was running upstairs and downstairs a million times a day because kind of my home is my life for my business. Um, so it, I'm very, very, very thankful. And I just, I know I'm gonna get some grouchies who are gonna say, this isn't normal, it isn't normal you guys. Um, and I totally get that. Let me show you my spice cabinet organizers too though because that's the other thing so many people always ask about my spice cabinet. Um, this is just, this makes me so happy. So I have two systems for my spices. Number one, I buy all of my spices the same ones at Kroger. Y'all know I always buy generic. So a little smart tip, buy the same spices, then they look nice and tidy. I use the cheapest one. I think the Kroger ones look really pretty. This is just a stacking shelf and I really do like it. So that's number one. Um, the other thing that I have up here is for my spices that are round, that don't match. Um, I have this little thing. Again, we're gonna have all the links for this in the video. I absolutely love, um, love, love, love it. Everything, all the organizers I've used are all in the link in the video. So click the link if you want it. Um, there is that. And then here's the next one. And so you can just pull things out. I really think this is such a good use of space. So if you have a small cabinet, that you have room for in, this is so, so, so worth it. So um, all the links for this are in the video. You can see I haven't even quite like used up my space yet. I'm kind of like, it's not all put together y'all yet. We are just in the process of my friend Misty came and helped me get it together. It was fantastic. Also my friend Lori, I had a friend Lori uh, Morris of Lori Organizes. If you're in the Lewis Center, Ohio area, she is the best organizer I know. And she had organized all of my spices and stuff when we lived in Ohio. And so having someone come in and just kind of like, get me, she got me all the right things. So that's why all of those are in the, um, in there. So yeah, the spice containers are great. The one thing I will say, I hope my, I don't think my friend Misty watches me. When Lori did this, she had these stacked up on the next shelf. So there's a third shelf back there. So what I need to do right now, Misty was so sweet. She came in and unpacked me and she didn't use this top shelf, but what I'm going to do, I probably should do today. I just need to move these guys up and then it's a little bit, I'll show you real fast. Actually, let's just do this really quickly. If you're watching, um, if you're new here and you're bored, go watch somebody else. That is totally fine. My heart will not be sad. I mean, I am not the person for everybody. 
uh, because I spill stuff all the time and I get nervous and all those things. Um, if you'd like to watch me, if you're watching and you are at home and you need to organize your spice cabinet, I'm going to show you how much better this is going to be. This has been bugging me, but I haven't even had a second to do it. Um, if you're watching and you're new, I, uh, and you're around here for a while, I am so thankful for you. I know y'all have been dying to see. I've gotten more emails on, Laurie, what's going on with your move? Because I know it was kind of a surprise. It was kind of a surprise for us, honestly, too. Um, let's get these put on the right shelves. Okay, so when you do it like that, you're going to have a little bit better space. And I missed my cloves, which are going to go here. I do try to alphabetize them. It's not so much that I'm OCD as much as it's just easier. And like I said, I run a pretty bus busy business. And so to be able, you know what I need to do now, I'm not gonna do this while y'all are watching. What I need to do on these, y'all, is to move these around like this. So they're all on the top. Okay, so when you do it, this is gonna, I'm gonna do this later. I'm not gonna make y'all watch me do this, but that way the words are up higher, which is just a little easier to see. So anyways, um, yeah, so when I do it, this is what it'll look like but I will not make y'all stand in here and watch this because it is stupid, it's incredibly boring, and I agree for all of you saying this is the most boring girl on the planet. You are correct. I don't know why people watch this stuff, but I do hope that if you're watching, and let's put a little this guy up there. Um, if you're watching, that it will encourage you to get some of your stuff done, and then there's our cute little pig salt and pepper shakers that we just love and they make me happy. So um, anyways, okay, I'll answer any questions that y'all have. I do keep one thing that's kind of silly is I keep our favorite recipes. I need to paste this back up. I've always, I've had this now in gosh, four or five houses. I've had this since my kids were little. These are our favorite waffle mix from the Better Homes and Gardens waffle. And so I usually just tape it right there. So I'll tape that right up there. Um, and then I think Reagan has a recipe. What recipe does Regan have? Oh, this is her favorite. Regan makes this mom's chocolate meringue pie from all recipes. It is so good. What hub spices? He does not put them away at the same place. I know that's what my husband doesn't cook much. So the other thing that's super nice is I'm able to have space now to keep out my recipe for the food we're making later in the day for the locale challenge. Um, yeah, y'all let me know if you have any other questions, but I just wanted to give you a peek into the pantry. Um, one thing I did too is I hung my aprons over here with command hooks, which is super handy because like I said, I just was so stuffed. Even though I had a great, um, even though I had a great pantry, it was great. It was not like this pantry. The organizer, Lori organizes Lewis Center, Ohio. So if you are in Lewis Center, Ohio, Lori organizes as the person. I also just want to say so much word of encouragement to you guys who are in a place financially that you do not have this big old Mac Daddy pantry and it may not even be in your dream world. Can I just tell you that I remember sitting there watching everybody else have all the big huge things when my husband and I were first married and I was so jealous and it was so hard to not have things that I saw everyone else have. Please know we are all in different seasons. Do not compare yourself to anybody. What you have is perfect. Take care of the space you have. You never know what God will give you next. Where, where did you get those spices you're fixing? I got them all from Kroger. They're all from for Kroger. Um, you have alphabetical. Thank you so much, Beth, for saying you love my pantry. The pantry is amazing. I need to waffle. I do need to laminate that waffle. You are so right. Um, school went great for Reagan on Wednesday. She did great. Uh, Thursday. Uh, your spice cabinet is the most exp expensive cabinet in your home. Amen, Kelly. You love the command hooks. Awesome. Okay, so click the link in the videos um, to see every more. I will show you. I'm not going to show you the living room quite yet, but do y'all want to see the office real fast? Oh, I'm going to run you through and let you see the office because it is honestly what sold me on this house. This part is not quite, <laughs> I don't know how messy it is in here. Um, this is what sold me on the house. My old office was really dark. Actually, let's get my new office right here is what sold me. It had built-ins. Um, I have never had a place to put all of the stuff that we've created over the last 13 years at Passionate Penny Pincher. So um, this is my little house for all of our little, all of our things. Um, I'm trying to make sure there's nothing crazy over there that you all don't need to see. I don't think there is. I didn't really plan on bringing in you here. So um, this to me is the happiest thing. I've never been able to like put out all of our Passionate Penny Pincher products in one place and say, these are all here. Um, I will tell you that very soon this guy is coming. We are not ready to ship him out quite yet. We're trying to get him ready to go. But I know y'all are gonna be super excited about this one. I am super excited about this one. Let me show him to you real fast. Um, 
hang on. So this is the home easel binder, which will work for your home, for the binder or for your menu plans. And I can't get it up. Hang on, I'm gonna put y'all right there to look for just a second. Hang on, sorry guys, let me suck for a second while I get this all organized. Um, hang on, I know this is super crazy. Hang on y'all. This is what it looks like, and this will be coming out really soon. For those of you who love our menu plans but uh, feel like the words maybe aren't as big as they can be, this is a stand that you can keep as you're making recipes, and it'll flip through. Um, and it's, oh, there's one actually in there. So that's what it'll look like when you print your recipes. So you'll print your recipes at home. Um, yeah. That, so yeah, you'll print the things at home and then you'll be able to see them. The nice thing about this is if you struggle at all with seeing the smaller fonts on the cards, this is just a great option. And I just, I haven't set her out like this on my counter. So that's coming very soon. We are so thankful, you guys. It's just, like I said, when I walked into, when we walked into this house, my husband and I were like, this is like the easy button for work. The colors even like were meant for me. Like, it's just kind of crazy. So um, never doubt what God's gonna give you because we sure would not have seen this. Um, we would never have seen this coming. If anyone had ever told us we'd be here, I would not have believed it. So anyways, we are super excited. Um, I'll rock y'all back to the pantry one more time and then I'll hop off and I'll see if there's any other questions. Hang on just a second. I'm trying to keep my, I've got a kiddo here at home, so I'm trying to be respectful of them as they don't love necessarily always being on video. So that's why I'm not showing everything because I do like that. Um, but here's the kitchen so you can see a better view. And there's the, um, the Amy, we were hoping they will be available to purchase in the next couple weeks. So yeah, there's the pantry. There you go. So thank you all for watching today. Please, please, please y'all know this is not for everyone. This is not for everyone. We know we are super fortunate. Um, lot, and I, w I keep thinking, I'm like, well, I've worked really hard for 13 years for this. We've penny pinched for 25 years. Lots of you pinch, penny pinched for 25 years. And lots of you work way harder than I've ever worked for many, many years. So please know I do not take this as anything except I am super grateful and it's made it very, very hard. I'm so glad you like the binder, Deidre. It's gonna be so fun. Yeah, I'm super excited about it. Anyways, y'all click the link in the video if you are interested in um, learning more about any of the pantry items I'm using. My favorite things are the Lazy Susans. I love this little can organizer stand. I need to get some pictures of that for y'all. Um, and Lazy Susans, and then my spice cabinet stuff, which I believe is all there in the video. You guys, oh, the binder we will have available, we hope, in a couple weeks. So it's not ready quite yet, but it'll be coming out really soon, and we cannot wait. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Y'all have an amazing day. I am so thankful for you. Y'all, can I just tell you this morning, please, 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 dream bigger than you can even imagine, because you never know what God's going to give to you. Anyways, y'all have an amazing day, and I am thankful for you. We'll talk soon. Bye, guys.